Okay, this is a quickie. I gotta go. Um, this there's a rectifier sitting over there. It's not in a very good position, and it's not wired very well. But there is a rectifier over there, and AC is going to it, and the DC is going to the fields, right out of the transformer. Then there's this DC control board, and it's getting straight AC. It has its own rectifier built in, and it's putting out switched and throttled DC to the brushes. Okay? So we're turning this AC motor into DC, kind of. I'm running a DC voltage for the fields and a switched DC for the brushes through rectifiers. Don't ask me why. Just seemed like the thing to do. My reverse was acting out on me. So there's a there's a position. I don't know. It's running some direction. Neutral. Reverse. The other direction. So I can wire this digital board right here and have a DC controlling the open frame AC motor and it sounds pretty good. It just goes faster and faster it seems. Um, this board gets a little warm. I'm not sure. It's pulling more than three amps. I don't know why. A lot of drag in here maybe. I'll do some more research on that but I thought well this is interesting for a clunky reverse that wasn't working on a really nice and clean Comet 466 no date code but it's a 466 um, it's a complete engine and I have cars for it so what the heck why not it has one motor it has this high low kind of a chassis so I got room here there was a reverse unit was there it's sticky and doesn't connect and I don't know what's going on I put this guy on and it runs just fine I think this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to convert this to a DC control, convert this motor to DC, and clean it, lube it, and make sure it's getting good um, lack of friction and whatnot. And then I think I'm going to put it in that engine and see what she does. That's what I think I'm going to do. Okay, that's it for the day. I'll post this as well later. Bye.